Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Huff Post under the main headline of Is Putin Losing in Ukraine? UK officials point out why Russia's invasion is faltering. Summary of headline article. On Friday morning, the government department tweeted out its daily update. Russian forces have made minimal progress this week. It's now estimated that around 90% of the buildings in Mariupol have been destroyed or damaged by the Russian shelling. Advertisement The Kremlin continues to reject any allegations that it has targeted civilians in its bid to denazify Ukraine. The mod added. The UN now states that the number of refugees fleeing the conflict in Ukraine has already surpassed 3.2 million. There is a chance Russian forces could still turn it around. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of how Russia crumbled after invasion 28,000 killed or wounded and Putin weakened. Summary of headline article. But three weeks into Putin's war and Russia faces the real prospect of humiliation as its invasion falters and its army is exposed as ill-equipped and badly prepared. Another nine senior Russian military figures have also reportedly died in the fighting, including the leader of the Marine Brigade and two air assault troop commanders. Russia this week also admitted to losing its first GRU military intelligence spy in the war. However, the devastating attack on the Ukrainian military base where 35 people were killed during an airstrike shows that Russia's network of spies are still active in the country. Ukrainian intelligence chiefs believe that an agent claiming to be an international volunteer had sent coordinates and information to Russia before the attack. From Metro under the main headline of Putin ominously cut off mid-speech by state broadcaster. During latest rant. Summary of headline article. pic.twitter.com slash f9 cools mbp. Kevin Rothrock. At Kevin Rothrock. March 18th. 2022. We are united by the same destiny. Mr. Putin said of the people of Russia and Crimea. Fans could be heard roaring, Russia, 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 during one part of his speech. Mr. Putin delivered his address as hundreds of thousands of Ukrainian people flee their homeland in the wake of his invasion. Metro.co.uk has exclusively revealed how, desperate, Mr. Putin is trying to bomb civilians into Submission, after the invasion of Ukraine failed to go according to plan. The war in Ukraine was dubbed, like Afghanistan. But even worse, on Russian state TV, sparking speculation Mr. Putin could be losing his grip. From Metro under the main headline of P&O Ferry's defense decision to sack 800 staff. Summary of headline article. P&O Ferries have issued a fresh statement following a wave of criticism. Picture. P.A. P&O Ferries have defended the, callous, and, disgraceful, decision to sack 800 workers on the spot and replace them with cheaper labor. The company said the decision was, difficult, but that it could not have survived otherwise. All affected crew who were working yesterday were notified face to face and in person on board their vessels. For crew who were off, P&O ferries made all efforts to notify them personally. They were individually called on the phone, as well as via email and text. It has called on ministers to demand P&O reverses its decision and negotiates with the unions. From the sun under the main headline of COVID cases up 23% with 90k new infections, as expert says. A euro no need to panic a euro. Summary of headline article. Daily coronavirus infections in the UK have increased by 23% in the last week. 
government data shows. 22 experts have said that Brits don't need to panic. As infections have risen this week credit. Par further 90,349 infections were reported today. Up from 72,898 last week. He urged calm amid rising cases. Saying the uptick in infections, aren't a cause for concern. But with a milder strain to contend with. The UK today took the huge step of ditching time-consuming and costly travel rules. As of 4 a.m. this morning, long-winded passenger locator forms have been scrapped, along with COVID tests for unvaccinated Brits. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest. Rescue ongoing at bombed Mariupol theatre. Putin stages pro-war rally in Moscow a euro, live. Summary of headline article. Julian Borger. At Julian Borger. A threat from Russian AMBO to Bosnia if. Bosnia. Decides to be a member of anything. I.e. NATO. That is an internal matter. But our reaction is something else. In the example of Ukraine. We have shown what we expect. If there is a threat, we will react. HTTPS. T.co slash x5 zo 3 w 2 hkz From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Rachel Blackmore wins gold cup on A plus tard to make. Cheltenham history. Summary of headline article. Rachel Blackmore has become the first female jockey in history to ride the winner of a gold cup. After a strong finish on A-plus Tard. With Manella Indo second and Protector at third Rachel Blackmore made history with a stunning. Boodle's Gold Cup win on favorite A-plus Tard. The 3-1 to one favorite jumped into the lead at the final fence and sprinted 15 lengths clear from. Manella Indo. 7-1. to one. It was a direct reversal of the placings from last year's renewal. As A plus Tard finished second to his Henry de Bromhead trained stablemate. Blackmore is the first female jockey to win the Gold Cup. The Cheltenham Festival's feature race. I wouldn't swap the Grand National for anything but this is the Gold Cup. From iNews under the main headline of Sarah Everard's killer Wayne Cousins charged with four counts. Of indecent exposure. Summary of headline article. Wayne Cousins has been charged with four counts of indecent exposure which allegedly took place in the months before he killed Sarah Everard. The alleged offenses are said to have taken place between January and February 2021, when Cousins was still serving as a Metropolitan Police Officer. The Crown Prosecution Service. CPS said it had authorized the charges after a referral of evidence from the police force. Cousins, 49, is alleged to have intentionally exposed his genitals with the intention that someone would see them and be caused alarm and distress. Cousins is currently serving a whole life tariff at HMP Franklin in County Durham for the abduction, rape and murder of Ms. Everard. From Daily Star under the main headline of Footballer, Kicked Wife in Head. Summary of headline article. For the latest from the pitch sign up for our football newsletter former Manchester City footballer. Joey Barton allegedly kicked his wife in the head and caused a golf ball sized lump after drinking four or five bottles of wine. A court heard the Bristol Rovers manager. 39. Pushed over his wife Georgia and kicked her in the head at their house in Kew. South West London. She said Barton is alleged to have pushed his wife over and kicked her in the head. She says she was pushed down and kicked about and stuff. She said, he has got my head and pushed me down and he kicked me on my head. She confirms that's where she was kicked in the head by her husband. From Mail Online under the main headline of hottest day of the year today with temperatures up again. 
Tomorrow. Summary of headline article. Advertisement Britons headed out to beaches across the country today as the UK recorded its hottest day of the year so far. And the Met Office said temperatures will rise even higher tomorrow. This morning, the Met Office predicted tomorrow would be the hottest of the year. But today's sunshine surpassed expectations. Britons headed out to beaches across the country today as the UK recorded its hottest day of the year so far. And the Met Office said temperatures will rise even higher tomorrow. Saturday will see highs of 68 F. 20 C. In northwest Scotland and parts of Northern Ireland the Met Office told Mail Online. It will be largely fine and dry for everyone most days in the coming week, a Met Office. Meteorologist said. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.